playing with Charlie Hall, the English woman for birdie at that sixth. Charlie endured a little adversity on the back nine. Charlie Hall leading it by one. This for birdie at seven to go up by two. Pulls it in. Well, after the bogey at the previous hole, looking for a little bounce back, but in order to do so, got to hit the fairway. This also looking like it's going down the middle of the fairway. Yeah, Charlie was talking about driving, driving the ball well here, knocking it into the fairways. It makes the approaches so much easier in terms of the contact. Charlie Hull for a par. Good two par that time. I mean, just, I mean, just good level-headed stuff there, to be honest, Tom. And it takes a lot of players to, to realize that they can only be the best that they can be on any given day, and no matter what anybody else does. And not trying to force it is such a huge issue, Judy, when you're playing. Well, that's a lot different than the shot yesterday, Karen. Avoid, though, careful. I think she's okay, don't you? Uh-huh, it looks fine. Okay. Here's an aggressive line. Yep. Uh, good shot. Good, mm -hmm. good shot. And Charlie. Yeah. Just tapping in, doesn't waste much time. Yeah, no need for a driver here for Charlie. Bunkers do come into play. And this one is down the right half of the fairway. Which would give a better angle into that flag. Usually we'll kick left. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And we know the putt. Hovering the putter, burying the putt. With this tee being moved up, as Paige was saying, I think she is a player that can take full advantage of this hole right now. Plenty long. She should carry everything on the right. That is, is that a little bit down the right side. Watch out. Let's see where it finishes. I think it's going to be in good shape. Ooh. Nice. That's gone a long way. Just yeah. kind of hit the speed slot there. Hot on the ground. Playing the low route. Played it well. Nice to judge. That'll be for birdie for Hull. Part of this is just perfect execution. She clips the ball absolutely perfectly with just a little uh, brush of the grass and the ball landed just barely on the putting surface which um, or just apparently not barely on the putting surface it looked different from behind not a huge amount in this yeah. get up and down doesn't have to drive out here, it is damn wind. There is trouble down the left, penalty area, but this one is going down the right side. Good. Only missed two fairways today, which she said was a key to success here. There is a little bit of help in, in this wind, but it is off the left as well, so any hint of a draw, it will take some distance off. A little anxious looking. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> the rest of the field better be anxious. So we'll see if this straightens out. It's a huge putt. Oh, yeah. this may be Charlie's day. She's broken out of a three-way tie for the lead with three straight birdies. As she now leads it by three with four to go. She has... Um, She's put on a kind of fun exhibition all week long, watching her play. You've also got to be smart as well, and this is smart. This is one of those holes that you can run out of room into those bunkers very quickly, and there's absolutely no need for that. And by going, um, you know, much farther back, it might have something to do with how she wants to play a shot into the green. I like that it's left. You don't want to be right. And she did go down after that one quite hard. Yeah, it's a good shot. It was about two yards left, wasn't it? Yeah, it was exactly, exactly. how he told her to hit it. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> well, the lead is two. With three to play. Not really a very different swing, excuse me. No, Judy, I was going to say that when she has had that three-quarter swing, she sits some quality shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. Obviously, much more of a controlled swing for her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How close <sighs> can you be and not go? 15 and 16, just burning the edges. Well, her average this week is 253 yards off the tee, but I, I really think that is skewed by the fact that uh, it has not been a driver on every hole. I mean, just this is all she could do, really, okay. just put it down there, give herself a chance to get up and down. Hopefully one of those other three-quarter shots that she's been playing so well. Yeah. But first things first, put this one in tight. Looked like a three-quarter swing to me. That's good. It's really good. Very good. We've seen so many terrific iron shots from Charlie Hull on this final day. Oh, and there was another enough. one. Charlie Hull helps her cause with this wedge at 17. And we will see... It was well executed by Charlie Hull. So she moved to 18 under on a one-shot lead heading to that. I think given the... I mean, her last driver that she hit was really swirly. Wasn't a great hit. Maybe this is the confident play. Well, and her shots into greens, her second shot play has been so very good. A very high seven iron. Amy White gets left. Will it stay? A I think so. It's one of those we say again, just left of perfect. <laughs> Didn't waste any time. Oh. And 64. In the second round at a 64 on Sunday. The countrywoman Georgia Hall out to celebrate with her. And that's a celebration. It's going to go for a while. She wins the Ascendant LPGA, benefiting Volunteers of America. A couple of 